Hello, this is your Monday morning devotional. Several years ago, I was visiting a congregation whose prime years had passed. The attendance was half of what it used to be, as empty pews marked the places where entire families once sat. The singing only echoed the full voices that had previously stirred the building with sweet praise. My wife and I had come here passing through on vacation, looking for old friends who we learned had moved away or joined other more active congregations. The service seemed to mourn their leaving as it wound its way through an uninspired set of songs and a prayer by one who had little to say to God. My disappointment with the worship was complete when, instead of the regular preacher, it was announced that a student intern was going to deliver the sermon that morning. Oh great, I thought. I get one Sunday off to receive ministry, and I have to listen to a beginner give his first sermon. Believe me, not my finest moment as a Christian. And it got worse. The young man rose to the pulpit and began to preach a sermon about Jesus' life. The material was familiar, the format and presentation shaky, and the illustrations drawn from the usual sources. I remember thinking, rather egotistically, well, at least they could have asked me to preach. However, about halfway through his sermon, the young intern mentioned the resurrection, and suddenly his voice and his spirit began to soar as he spoke with conviction, authority, and joy. The entire assembly was captured by his sincerity and the power of God's word. I realized once again, as I repented from my pride, that the gospel is the power, Romans chapter 1, verse 16, and that God had indeed ministered to me that morning. This is Mike Mazzalongo for BibleTalk.tv. Have a blessed week. Discussion questions, number one. What is your favorite part of the worship service? Why? Number two, if you had advice to give to preachers in general, what would that be? Number three, what, in your opinion, does Paul the Apostle mean when he declares, I am not ashamed of the gospel, and B, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes?